Hello and welcome back to Youth Code Jam's online bits and bytes lessons. Today we're going to draw a snowflake in Scratch using the pen tool. So I think, think we've done this with any of our activities before, so it will be fun to work with a new um, part of Scratch today, a new extension. So let's go ahead and get started by heading to the Scratch website. Um, in your browser window, we normally prefer to work with Chrome for Scratch. It's been optimized for that one, um, but it will work well with Firefox as well. Um, it's iffy with Safari and Microsoft Edge, just as a forewarning. So we'll head to scratch.mit.edu. You can sign into an account or create one if you want to save the project, but you do not have to save the project and you do not have to have an account to, to do this activity. I'm going to click the create button. And once this window is open, I will delete the tutorial window and the default sprite. And before we add any backgrounds or images, we need to add our pen extension so that we can actually draw this snowflake. So at the very bottom left corner of our screen, you're gonna see this blue button that has some code blocks on it and a little plus sign. This is our add an extension button. We're gonna click that one. And then we're gonna select this second block right here that says pen. Um, so the pen tool is something that is also seen in Python. If you've worked in Python before or maybe you know someone who has, so it's kind of using the same um, coding logic as what you would find with the Python pen. So just click that and you can see that the pen tool is now under the my blocks option here. And right now we just have one pen, but we're going to have some more pretty soon as we add sprites and backgrounds and stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is add our stars, or sorry, we're going to add our background and it's going to be the stars background so that we can see the snowflake. The snowflake tends to tend to be light in color. So we're going to do a stars background so that our snowflake will really show. And there it goes. So we have this pretty background. Um, you can, we do need a sprite on the screen. It doesn't have to be that cat sprite if you still have it. You can pick any sprite you want. I'm just going to use um, this bat here. And it doesn't matter what it is. We have to have this sprite so that we can see all the pin tools. Um, but we don't actually want this one visible. So we're going to come over into our sprite panel here and um, click the hide button so that this sprite isn't visible. Um, again, you can choose whatever sprite you want for this, but we're not going to use it in the, pro we're, we're not going to have it visible at all throughout this program. So make sure that you click this hide button. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a couple variables. So head to the variables drawer, click the my variable button, and we're going to name one length. And create a second one that's named branch. All right, so now we can get started on our code. Head to the events drawer and get a win green flag clicked block. And then head to the motion drawer and get a go to X and Y block. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Go to X and Y. You're gonna change both values to zero. So this will start our pen tool in the middle of our screen. So this is where we'll start drawing. Now we're gonna use some of those pen blocks. So head to that pen drawer that we added. And the first thing we wanna do with any drawing program is erase the screen. So get that erase all block. So if there's anything drawn here, it will erase it before it starts redrawing. So we get the new picture every time. And then we wanna get this pen down block. So that essentially, it's like putting your physical pen to the page. Um, we're putting this on our digital canvas, so we're putting our pen down to actually draw. Um, the next few steps will be about setting up our pen, so choosing the size and the color. So still in the pen drawer, get the set pen size 2 block and add that to our code. Change the 1 to a 5, and then we're going to get the set pen color 2. And like I said, we use a light color. You can use a dark one if you want. You'll need to probably switch backgrounds, but um, you can use any kind of light color you are interested in there. I'm going to try and go for kind of a light blue. Maybe saturate my color a little more. There we go. Um, so you can pick whatever color you want using that slider. All right, so now we're gonna work with our variables a little bit. So head back to that variable drawer and get a 
get two of these set two blocks. So set branch to zero and set branch to zero again. Change the first block to read set branch to 25. So our branch length is going to be 25 units. And then in the second one, use the drop down to change uh, branch to length. And we're going to have the length be 70 units. Okay, um, so that those are that was all some pretty basic stuff. Even though the pen blocks here were new, they weren't too challenging. We're going to add another component to this. In, adi in addition to learning with the pen tool, we're going to add a function to our code um, using the my blocks feature. So you don't have to have an account again to access this. You will be able to create this my blocks without signing in. Um, and this is so um, we're going to repeat this. Uh, action that we're going to make. So when we're repeating something over and over again, instead of adding that series of steps to our code over and over again, we'll create a function that's separate from the main part of the code and just call to it when we need it. And that saves on um, the space and the time of your program when you're um, coding. And that is important to learn. So that's why we're practicing it with it today. So come to the My Blocks drawer and click the Make a Block button. In this space, you're going to type the word stem, and we're going to, it should just start like that. So it's going to be a, called stem, and then just click OK. And you can see we have this defined stem block appear on our screen. So I'm just going to drag this over here. So this is going to be the function header, kind of like our when green flag clicked here. This is a function technically. This would be the main function in a program. So this is where everything runs or is called to or set up from. Um, technically, you could do all of this in a function called or a block called setup and throw all of this in here and then just call that here if we wanted to do setup more than once um, or if you were practicing breaking things out from your code. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to do this um, drawing of the stem feature. So we're going to go to the control drawer next and get the um, repeat 10 block and add it to our defined stem block and change that 10 to a 6. Inside that um, repeat block we're going to add a couple blocks from the motion drawer so go to the motion drawer and the first one is move 10 steps place that inside and then get a second one that says move 10 steps and we're going to change these values so the second one, I want you to change it to a negative 20. And then for the first move 10 steps, go to the variables drawer and get the link bubble here or oval, whatever you want to call it, and drag it over that first 10. So we should now have two blocks that read move link 10 steps and move negative 20 steps. All right, and we're going to stay in the motion drawer for this next one. Um, and this is where we'll have some repeated activity here. So that's okay, and that's why we have this function is because we're repeating a lot of things. Um, so we're going to get three, go back to the motion drawer and get three of the turn left blocks. So it's the second turn block here. It says 15 degrees. We want three of those. And just placing them inside our code. And we're going to change that 15 to 60 degrees. So this defines like the angle of our snowflake. So if you've drawn a snowflake before, you know they normally have points and angles as the lines crisscross. So these are our angles, how wide they will be. And then we're gonna get three more of those move 10 steps and place them after each turn block. So there's one, two, three. And again, we're gonna use a variable for um, the, these three move blocks we just added. So head to the variables drawer and this time we're going to get branch and we're going to place branch over each of those tens in those three move blocks. Okay, so not too bad. So that's what your code should look like so far. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're only drawing these branches, right? We won't, and it looks like a nice clean snowflake. So to do that, we need to, um, between drawing each branch, we need to pick up that pen from the paper and restart at the center before drawing the next branch. So head to the um, pen drawer 
then we're going to get the pen up block and place it at the bottom of our code here. And since we're here, go ahead and grab another pen down block to add to our code so we don't have to come back. And then head to the motion drawer again and get a go to XY block and make sure both X and Y are set to zero. So this will pick up our pen so that we're not drawing again as we return to the center of the screen, um, which is what this block does here. And then it will put the pen down again before um, drawing the next branch here. Okay, so this is it for our um, function that we made, our stem function. So we're going to head back to the when green flag click block here, so our main function, and get a repeat 10 block from the control drawer. We're going to change repeat to 3. And then from the my blocks drawer, we're going to get the little block that says stem and place it inside the repeat block. Okay, so one more step, and this is changing our variables so that they um, change each time that we draw the branch or call the function. So go to the variable store and get a two of these change blocks. For change branch, we're going to change one to negative five. The second one, we're going to do change and use the drop down to change it to length, and we're going to change um, the length by 50. So now if we run our program, we should have a nice snowflake appear on the screen. Oops, and I did not. So I made a mistake somewhere. Let me go back real fast and see what happened. I can guess what I did, but let's not. So we have that. Okay, branch is set to 25, length is set to 50, repeat 6. Turn 60. Turn 60. Oops, my mistake here. So the second 60 needed to be 180. So now let's try our program. There we go. Now we have a nice snowflake. So if you guys have the activity sheet out, you will have seen that I made that mistake probably earlier, but we all make mistakes and it's okay if you guys see that the instructor does too. Um, so you can see by the end, our length is somehow got to 220 and our branch length got to 10, um, which is fine. So you guys can play with kind of these turns and these um, value, our original starting values to see what different ways you can make the snowflake look like if you want or find other ways to play with the pen tool. Um, but that's the end of the activity, so keep playing with that pen tool and figure out how to make some other cool shapes with it, alright? I hope to see you at a live session soon. Have a great day.